Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Games Beth here. Today, let's learn how to finally add items to buy in our shop GUI. Now, I have this gun that I pulled off the toolbox. I'm going to go ahead and drag that inside of server storage. Next up, inside of replicated storage, we're going to go ahead and add a remote event. Now, inside of this remote event, I'm going to go ahead and rename it to gun event. Feel free to name it whatever you would like. Just remember it so that we will, we can, because we will be referencing it later in our script. Alrighty, back into our starter GUI, head over to our open and close screen GUI. And in our frame, we're going to go ahead and add a text button. Now, this text button is going to prompt us buying whatever it is that you want to buy inside of your shop GUI. In my case, it's going to be the gun. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and add a UI corner for my text button and then renaming this button to gun because I will be referencing this inside of our script in just a second. And then, of course, go ahead and, you know, customize this text button to however you want it to look like. And yeah. Now, we could technically continue on and just start scripting from here. But if you want to make your shop GUI, you know, a little fancy, go ahead and add, you know, a little image label to show, you know, what your, you know, what exactly it is that you're trying to sell, as well as a text label that's going to go ahead and show you how much this item is going to cost. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and make this gun worth 200 points. So points is my leader stats value, but if you have money, if you have cash, whatever your leader stats value is, you know, we'll be setting that in just a second. Now, inside of our gun text button, let's go ahead and add a local script. And inside of this local script, we have a function that anytime a player clicks on this gun text button, it's going to fire the remote event, which we named to gun event. Now, remember, if you renamed your remote event to something else, make sure to uh, re reference that correctly inside of this script. Okay, before we move on, just make sure that you guys actually have a leader stats folder inside of your server script service. So any, you know, cash or money, any value that you have, we'll go, we'll be making sure to reference that inside of our script in just a second. So if you guys can see that where it says number value, right? So my value, the name of my value is equal to points. Now, it's going to be different for everyone. Some people can have it as cash or money. Uh, mine is points. So inside of server script service, we're going to go ahead and add a script. Inside of this script, we have it so that anytime the remote event, which is gun event for me, is triggered, then it's going to check the leader stats value of our player and see if our points value is greater than or equal to 50. Now, if it's less than, then the player won't be able to get the gun. But if it is, then what it's going to do is deduct 50 points from our player. And then the gun is going to be cloned, which we placed inside of server storage and then place it inside of our player's backpack. Now, one thing to note is that where it says leader stats dot points dot value, make sure that the where it says dot points reflects the correct name of your number value. So if it's cash, then it should be leader stats dot cash dot value. If it's money, then it should be dot leader stats dot money and so on and so forth. OK, so since that is finished, make sure to go ahead and untick visible in your frame because we don't want to see it once we hop inside of our game. And then, of course, let's go ahead and test out our game. So you'll see that I have 200 points automatically. I'm going to open up my GUI, get the gun. I'm going to click the gun. And there you go. You see how that my points deducted by 50. And now I now have a gun inside of my backpack and I can use it. How cool. As always, leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And as always, have fun creating and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.